Hello, in this video I am going to solve a problem for you on the topic of trigonometric equations. Let us read the problem together first. Solve the following equation. 2 sine of x minus 45 degrees squared plus 3 times cosine x plus 45 degrees equals 2, 5. That would be a good idea if you pause the video at this moment and try to solve the problem yourself first. If you solve the problem correctly, this is the answer that you will get. x equals to minus 45 degrees plus n times 360 degrees, where n belongs to the set of integers. n is an integer number. Uh, okay, so this is the problem that I have written it here on the board and we are supposed to solve it here. Uh, the point is that you need to observe two things here in this problem. Let me just remind you about some formulas. So you know that from your studies in trigonometry, you know that sine of the negative of an angle is equal to negative of sine of that angle. Okay? So, but then let me raise both of these to power 2, so then it becomes sine of minus theta to power 2 is equal to minus sine theta totally to power 2. But then this minus sine will be gone because of this even power 2, yes? So then it becomes sine to the power of 2 minus theta is equal to, again, sine of theta squared. So even though if I have a negative sign in front of sine, this will be moved outside, but if I have an even power, this I can see that, okay, this minus sine is actually eliminated because of that even power. So this is something that I need to solve this problem. Uh, consequence of this is this. So if I ask you what is sine of a minus b, how sine of a minus b is related to sine b minus a, the answer is clear. This becomes negative of this one. Why is that? Because b minus a is just minus the total a minus b. So, so we know that b minus a is a minus b multiplied by a minus sign. Okay, so this is exactly because of this. So if I flip these two, the price that I have to pay is actually to put a minus sign there. But exactly as before, even though I have to do it for the sign, but if I raise it to power two, this becomes power two. But this power two that will be, I will bring in will actually eliminate this minus sign and I will have the power two here. So if I have sign, of a minus b squared, it doesn't matter. I can immediately interchange them if I want to. And in this problem, this becomes important. Why is that? Let us look here. According to what I described here, sine of x minus 45 degrees squared is equal to sine of 45 degrees minus x squared. You might wonder why this is useful. The reason this is useful because now the angle that you see here and the angle that appears in front of cosine become complementary angles. Why is that? Let us check. The angle that you see here is 45 degrees minus x. The angle that appears in front of cosine is x plus 45 degrees if I add these together, then minus x and x are gone. 45 plus 45 is 90 degrees. Okay? So this means that this angle that you see in front of cosine and this form of the angle that you see in front of sine are complementary. So now hopefully you understand that was a crucial step in this problem because x minus 45 itself and x plus 45 are not complementary.
If I take this one and add it to this form, x minus 45, then x will be added to x, which becomes 2x, and minus 45 will cancel that 45, so I'm left with 2x. So in this form, in this original form of the problem, these two angles are not complementary. But if we understand that because of that even power, I can flip these two, and the angle that is generated in this way is complement to the angle that appears in front of cosine, then what you can simply do, you can use that theorem that if two angles are complementary, sine of one of them is equal to the cosine of the other one, and vice versa. So now, hopefully, you understand what is going on. For example, because this angle and that angle, sorry, this angle, are complementary, so cosine of x plus 45 degrees uh, is equal to the sine of 45 degrees minus x. Yes? Now what happens, instead of having a mixture of sine and cosine in my equation, I can write the equation in terms of sine only or cosine only. So I would prefer to write everything in terms of cosine in this problem. Of course, it doesn't matter at all. The answer that you will get at the end will be the same. So what I do, I will write 2, but instead of sine of x minus 45 squared, I can write cosine of x plus 45 squared. Yes? And then I copy and paste this part plus 3 times cosine x plus 45 degrees is equal to 3. So instead of solving the original problem, which is a mixture of sine and cosine, I can simply solve this equation, which is easier because it is only expressed in terms of cosine. Yes? And hopefully you know what to do. For example, you can introduce an auxiliary variable here. So you would say that let for example, capital X B cosine of X plus 45 degrees. Then what happens? Instead of cosine, I put capital X, so I get 2 capital X squared, and then I will get plus uh, 3X. Oh, sorry, I made a mistake here. This number is 5. I mistakenly wrote 3, so that is 5. Sorry. And that is equal to 5. And then I have to solve this quadratic equation, which I use ABC formula usually. So it becomes 2x squared plus 3x minus 5 equals to 0. Then this would imply that x is equal to minus b, which is minus 3 in this case, plus or minus the square root of this number to power 2, which is 9, minus 4 times a, which is minus 8, multiplied by c, which is positive 40, and then divided by 2 times number a here, so which is 4. But this is... 49, and the square root of 49 is 7, so I will get these answers. So x is equal to minus 3 plus or minus 7 divided by 4. So I will have two solutions. One solution is minus 3 minus 7 minus 10 divided by 4. If you simplify it by 2, it's minus 5 over 2. And the other answer is minus 3 plus 7, which is 4 divided by 4 is 1. So, or, I have two answers, either that one or this one. But of course, in this context, the first one is not acceptable. Why? Because x is cosine of some angle, and we know that cosine is minimally minus 1. But minus 5 over 2 is minus 2.5, so it's not acceptable. And then... I have only this situation, but when x is capital X is equal to 1, it means that because capital X is the name of this guy, so this becomes x plus 45 degrees is equal to 1. Of course, you can use the formulas that you have learned in math 4 for solving for trigonometric equations, but I think with the numbers on the right are 0, 1, and minus 1, it is always better to visualize it on the unit circle. So you know that cosine of an angle is related to the x-coordinate of the point 
corresponding to the angle on the unit circle. Now, cosine is supposed to be 1. There is only one point on the unit circle whose x-coordinate is 1, and that point is here. Yes? So what is this point? This point corresponds to 0 degrees, 360 degrees. Any multiple of 360 degrees is acceptable. So this means that x plus 45 degrees is equal to n times 360 degrees, an integer multiple of a full round. So this n is an integer, n belongs to the set of integers, and then I am looking for x. So what I do, I just simply move 45 to the other side, it becomes minus 45 degrees plus n times 360 degrees. So, and that is exactly the answer which was provided by uh, the problem. Yes? Okay. I hope that this video is useful for you. Until the next video, be safe and goodbye. Thank you.